find favor in your sight. Lord, yes, Lord, please hear my heart's cry. I'm desperately waiting to be where you are across the fairy desert. To see you near or far for your glory, I would do anything just to see you, to be called you as my king for your glory. Just to see you, <clears throat> to behold you as my king, I want to be where you are, I want to be where you are, peace is where you are, I want to be where you are. For your glory, glory, I would do, would do anything just to see you, see you, see you, to behold you as my king. For your glory, Lord, I would do anything. Just to see you, to behold you as my king, I want to be where you are, love is where you are, peace is where you are, I want to be where you are. For your glory, 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 I would do, would do anything just to see you, see you, see you, to behold you as my king. For your glory, Lord, I would do anything just to see you. <coughs> To behold you as my king, I want to be where you are, I want to be where you are, this is where you are, I want to be where you are, I want to be where you are, joy is where you are. I wanna be where you are. I wanna be where you are. <clears throat> Greetings, everybody. Welcome once again. It's your favorite program, a chapter a day. On here, we get to know who we are in Christ, the power we possess, the things we can and cannot do, so that we can live a successful Christian life here on earth and end up spending eternity with God in heaven. Heaven in view. That's the whole idea. Of course, it's also our audio Bible creation program where we create a King James Version audio Bible and then we study the Word of God together. I don't know about you, but studying the Word of God helps us in diverse ways. Not only in growing our faith, but also in doing marvelous things for us because we get to know the promises God has made for us. And when we hold on to them, God has no way but to answer because He says, he will honor his word higher than his name. And of course, when his word goes out, it never comes back void. It always accomplishes the purpose for which it is sent. So, of course, the word of God is powerful. The word of God has a lot that it can do in the life of the ones that are holding on to it, believing it, studying it, meditating on it. And bringing it back to God through prayers. 
Okay, guys, today our Bible party is taken from the book of Psalm 104, and it has 35 verses. And then we'll do our birthday party, Bible party, and we are out of your faces, right? So, let's get ready. Father, we thank you for this day that you've made. We rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for all that you've done, all you're doing, and all you're still to do. Because in everything you work for good to them that love and serve you, and I call that according to your purpose. Lord, I pray manifest yourself in our lives, O God. Let the expectation of the righteous not be cut short. Speak to us in a very special way, O God. Let it be you and you alone that will be seen, felt, heard, and experienced throughout this edition of the chapter a day. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, O God, that you come now and speak to your children. In mindful and diverse ways. Ways that will bring enlightenment. That will bring transformation. That will bring deliverance. That will bring restoration. That will bring recovery. Lord, just back your word and sense and wonders this day. All for your glory. For in Jesus' name we pray. And all the saints shall say a ginormous Amen. Amen. And Amen. Okay, guys. Let's go. It's time for the birthday party. And of course, like always, we've gone into that part where we get to have some quotes written down. And we're going to be reading out those quotes to you. So this one says, I'll not stay longer than necessary in my wilderness. I will not stay longer than necessary in my wilderness. Do you know that there is a possibility of you staying longer than necessary in your wilderness? Especially when you don't want to do the things that you have to do. Look at these people. It took them 40 years and I think more to get from wherever they were, that's Egypt, to the promised land. There were roads that were way shorter. That would have taken them a shorter time. But because of the way they were doing things, because of the way they were living their lives, it took them longer. So because of the things you might be doing, because of your disobedience, because of your murmuring, because of your complaints, because of, just name it, all those things you're doing that God doesn't really want, that God is not accepting, you might stay longer than necessary in your wilderness. But I pray for you this day, that as you're listening to this video, you're going to do the right things, you're going to get things right, and you are not going to be delayed in your wilderness season. So it's birthday party time, guys. Let's go. Mr. Chima F. Madu. Mr. Chima F. Madu, actually, we met each other when we were in secondary school. She's a very friendly person, very welcoming, very fun to be with as well. The next person is Mom Fosab Annabelle. Mom Fosab Annabelle, we went to the same primary school together. Yeah, we went to the same primary school together. Lost contact, disconnected and all, but social media connected us again. And like a joke. We actually connected again physically sometime, um, maybe a couple of years back when I went to visit one of my friends and I had to live with her for a couple of days because I needed to do something in Yaoundé. And I went there intriguing enough. My big sister's best friend was Annabelle's elder sister. Yeah. Small world, right? That's how it happened. So, be nice to people. Do good wherever you have the chance to. You never know where you're going to need help, how you're going to need help, and who is going to be the one helping you. You just never know. So, be kind to everyone. Be, do good as much as it's in your power, too. Do not relent. Do not hold back. Happy birthday to you, Mom and Abel. The next person is Mr. Malik. And Mr. Malik, we actually got to meet on Facebook, you know, encouraging me on the things I do. He loved the work I was doing, and I'm grateful to you. The last but not the least is my pretty, amazingly beautiful, awesomely sweet, Auntie Rosemary Ekaite, the pretty woman of God on fire. She's a pastor. 
she's an encourager she's a philanthropist she's a singer she's an artist what would she be saying is what is she not how did i get to know her? i got to know her when i was connected when coach k actually added me to the match fire nation team that's how i got to know Auntie rosemary kaite and she has been one of the best spiritual leaders i've ever had in a very very long time she's a spiritual um leader of the match fire nation um american and europe um section um what else she sings she's a pastor she's a great mother a great wife like what is Pastor is Mary not? That's all we should be asking. But anyway, she's everything good. And she's the one who always looks out for me. Praying for me. Checking up on me. And making sure that I'm good and fine. Like, oh my God. I just, when she prays, <laughs> you feel it. Like you feel the presence of God. And of course, she's also the one who, for the most part, leads Master and Nation prayers. Like every, I think it's the first Wednesday of the month or the last Wednesday of the month. I'm not sure which. I always get that mixed up. But one of the Wednesdays in a month, she actually leads um, prayers physically. Like she goes live. And then she also has a program that she goes live, Living Encouraged, on her page. You can actually search that out and thank me later Welcome, Pastor Mrs. Linda, Linda Naje. Thank you for coming, woman of God. God bless you. I really appreciate the fact that you're here. So let's do that again. Happy birthday to Mr. Chima F. Madu. Happy birthday to Mom Fossap Annabelle. Happy birthday to Mr. Malik. And a very special happy birthday to Auntie Rosemary. Auntie Pastor Rosemary. <laughs> Ikaite. Who does that? Auntie Pastor. Really? Yes. Yes. She deserves all the accolades and all the titles and all the names that she gets. She truly, truly deserves it. They're not just titles. She goes on with the responsibility and she really does great at the responsibilities that come with all the titles that she has. So for now, let's get to pray for the birthday people and then we'll get right on with the Bible party. Like I said, a Bible party for today is taken from the book of Psalm 104, and it has 35 verses. So guys, let's pray. One moment, please. Lord, we thank you for all these amazing people who were born today, O oh Lord. Father, we thank you for giving them an additional year, O oh God. It's not by power, not by might, but by your spirit. Lord, we pray, O oh God, that you write beautiful stories on the pages of their lives, even as you open it today, O oh God. Father, that you're going to give them reasons to dance, to celebrate, to be late, and to rejoice all to your, all for your glory, O oh God. Lord, we pray, O oh God, that you're going to cause them to increase in wisdom and stature, gaining favor before God and before men. Lord, let their gifts make a way for them, causing them to stand before kings, not before mean men, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray, O oh God, that you're going to open the windows of heaven upon their lives and pour out the choices of your blessings upon their lives and rebuke every devourer. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that as these blessings encompass them as a shield round about, no weapon formed or fashion against them shall prosper. And any tongue that rises against them in judgment, you shall condemn. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you perfect all that concerns them. Give them a sound 126 state, state of continuous laughter, singing, rejoicing, and celebration. And if you tarry to come, O oh Lord, they'll be here same time next year, giving testimony of all the awesome sorts things that you do in their lives, O oh God. Because this is going to be their best birthday yet. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you're going to open doors for them that no man can shut and shut every door that is not of you. You're going to cause them to stand out and not feed in, O oh God. But are you cause them to be trailblazers, space setters, and world changers. Give them all that it takes to go and conquer their world in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray, O oh God, whatever the lady hands on prospers, wherever they tread their feet upon, give it to them as a possession in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that even as the blessings overflow upon their lives, those who come in contact with them will literally rub off of the blessings for in Jesus' mighty and blessed name we pray with thanksgiving. Lord, I pray that their part is going to keep shining brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. And Lord, 
your word is going to be a lamb unto their feet and a light to their part. That they will not derail, they will not stray, the part they will stay on course. And if they get to a point where they feel like they want to give up or back out, they want to hang in the towel, they will hear a clean, loud, clear voice that's going to say, this is the way, walk down in it. They will not derail, they will not get it wrong, they will stay on the right part, all to the glory of your name. Father, we say thank you. We appreciate you, O oh God, for all that you have done, for all you're doing, and all you're still to do in their lives, O oh God. Father, we say thank you. We know that you're going to cause them to continuously stand out. Lord, divinely connect them to people and things that will cause them to be their best and not stagnate. And divinely disconnect them from people and things that will cause them to stagnate or regress in the mighty name of Jesus. <clears throat> Lord, we magnify you, O oh God. We bless your holy name. We give you all the praise because you deserve it. <coughs> Let your name and your name alone be glorified in the lives of these your children. Anything that is not planted by you in their lives will operate it in the mighty name of Jesus by the fire of the Holy Ghost. We pray that they are going to be the ones <coughs> manifesting to the growing nation that is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Abba Father, because we know you always hear and answer. For in Jesus' mighty and blessed name we pray with thanksgiving. And all the saints shall say, Ginomus, Amen. But I sing the Amen. <coughs> amen. 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 Let it be so. Amen. 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 In their lives. Amen. As we have prayed. Amen. Let it be in the life to the prayers. Amen, 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 amen. With the blood of Jesus. Amen. Let it be so. Amen. In the lives as we pray. Let it be so. Amen. In the lives as we pray. God bless you all tremendously. And may you feel your bands with all good things and enlarge your coast. May money meet money in your pockets. Blessings meet blessings in your life. Favor meets favor in your life. Even as you clothe yourself with a garment of praise, honor, and favor. God himself will clothe you and he will take you to the next level. In Jesus' name. I always get to say I love you so very much. But God loves you way, way more. Have a blast. Happy birthday. Day. Happy birthday, people! Mm -hmm. Joyeux anniversaire à tout, 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 tout le monde. Happy anniversary, <coughs> happy birthday, and I just want to say I love you all so, so much. Let's get our Bible party started. Are you guys ready? If you're ready, let me know. Just say, I'm ready. Just say, I'm ready, 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 ready. Just say, I'm ready. Okay, so let's go. Okay, let's go. It's reading time. Where is that? Psalm 104. Are you ready, guys? Ready or not? Here I come. Psalm 104. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty. Who covers thyself with light as with a garment? Who stretches out the heavens like a curtain? Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariot? 
who walketh upon the wings of the wind, who maketh his angels spirits, his ministers a flaming fire, who laid the foundations of the earth, that it should not be removed forever. Thou coverest it with a deep, as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At thy rebuke they fled. At the voice of thy thunder they hasted away. They go up by the mountains. They go down by the valleys, unto the place which thou hast founded for them. Thou hast set a bound, that they may not pass over, that they turn not again to cover the earth. He sendeth the spring into the valleys, which run among the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild asses quench their thirst. By them shall the fowls of the heaven have their habitation, which sing among the branches. He watereth the hills from his chambers. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causeth the grass to grow for the cattle and herbs for the service of man, that he may bring forth fruit out of the earth, and wine that maketh glad the heart of man, and oil to make his face to shine, and bread which strengtheneth man's heart. The trees of the Lord are full of sap, the cellars of Lebanon which he had planted, where the birds make their nests, as for the stork, the fir trees, as her house. The high hills are refuge for the wild goats, and the rocks for the conies. He appointed the moon for seasons. The sun knoweth his going down. Thou makest darkness, and it is night, wherein all the beasts of the forest do creep forth. The young lions roar after their prey, and seek their meat for God. The sun ariseth, they gather themselves together and lay them down in their dens. Oh my God. These motorbikes are just something else. <laughs> Thou makest darkness, and it is night, wherein all the beasts of the forest do creep forth. The young lions roar after their prey and seek their meat from God. The sun ariseth. They gather themselves together and lay them down in their dens. Man goeth forth unto his work and to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are thy works! In wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is full of thy riches. So is this great and wide sea. Wherein are things creeping, innumerable, both small and great beasts. There go the ships. There is that Leviathan, whom thou hast made to play therein. These wait all upon thee, that thou mayest give them their meat in due season. That thou givest them, they gather. Thou openest thine hand, they are filled with good. Thou hidest thy face, they are troubled. Thou takest away their breath, they die, and return to their dust. Thou sendest forth thy spirit, they are created, and thou renewest the face of the earth. The glory of the Lord shall endure forever. The Lord shall rejoice in his works. He looked on the earth, and it trembled. He touched the hills, and they smoked. The glory of the Lord shall endure forever. The Lord shall rejoice in his works. He looketh on the earth, and it trembleth. He toucheth the hills, and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. My meditation of him shall be sweet. I will be glad in the Lord. Let the sinners be consumed out of the earth. And let the wicked be no more. Bless thou the Lord, O my soul. Praise ye the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. And all the saints shall say a ginormous thanks be to God. Welcome, Mr. Mark. Welcome, Mr. Edu Garrison. 
And Minister Max says, uh, Minister Max says, I was already wondering where you are. My best verses from today's psalm is 33, 34, and 35. That's interesting. It says, I'm at a regret office and I can't dare talk yet. <laughs> I was hoping to have finished by now, but what instead told me to go and return now? <laughs> All is well. In short, God is God. No one can compare to his awesome self and deeds. I remember when he asked Job some of the questions and Oga Job couldn't, of course, even there speak against with any bitterness. That is cool. I like that. Okay, so the comment section, we need it to be on fire. If you can, we would appreciate it. Okay, so let's go. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh Lord, my God. Thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty. This is just worshiping God. These are several ways of worshiping God. Telling God who he is. That's worship. And your life is also worship. You are created to worship and praise God. So your lifestyle, the way you live, because it's like most of the times when we talk about worship, when we talk about praise, most people are always thinking of a singing music kind of dance scenario kind of thing. Your life in itself is worship. So it's very important. Then the next one is, who cover thyself with light as with a garment? Who stretches out the heavens like a curtain? Yes. This is just it. I and and I remember today that this is basically how I was watching God. I was worshiping God. Like I just ran out of you know, and then I just started looking at things like creation and stuff like that. And then I was just like, you're the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the Lily of the Valley, the Lion of the Tribe of Judah. You're the Savior of the world. You're the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of. The I mean, just bring those things to life. Just speak them. That's you worshiping God. I mean, Mr. Max says, yes, those are beautiful ways of worship. Oh, yes. You know, says, who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariots? Who walketh upon the wings of the wind? I mean, you just need to take this psalm and be reading it out. And be reading it from the depth of your heart. Read it like you mean it. Don't just read it because you want to read. Don't just read it like you're reading a storybook. Read it and really try to Picture what you're saying. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. Who may get his angel spirits, his ministers, a flaming fire. Oh my God. Oh my God. You, as a minister of God, you have flaming fire. Do you know what you can do? Do you know the power you possess? You carry the creator of the universe on the inside of you. Do you know who you are at all? Do you know your capabilities? We hmm. better sit down sometimes and think again. Say, who laid the foundations of the earth? That it should not be removed forever and ever. Thou coverest it with deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. God says, let them be light. God says, let the firmament be separated from the earth. I mean, see. And I'll see what he called that woman of God on fire. I know, right? Yeah, this is it. Like you're a flaming fire. God has made you a minister with a flaming fire. Oh, yeah. That's a cool one too there. Yeah. Says, at thy rebuke they fled. At the voice of thy thunder they hasted away. And he has a voice like thunder. Hey. There's a time God comes like a still small voice. There's a time he comes like thunder. There's a time he just comes so nicely. And it's just a normal regular voice. There are times he comes with, I mean fire. There are times he comes with like a wild wind. There are times he's just so subtle. That's God for you. Learn to praise God how he appears to you, how he reveals himself to you. Do you know who you are? Do you know who God has made you to be? It says, um, they go up by the mountains, they go down by the valleys, unto the place which thou hast founded for them. 
Thou hast set a bound that they may not pass over, and they turn not again to cover the earth. Oh my God. <laughs> say, Minister Max, say, nah, simply put, to fear God. Oh, he is not our mate. Of course, God no will mate. Oh. He's not our mate at all. Look at the kinds of things he can do. He's capable of doing these things. He's capable of even wiping the earth. He created it. If he doesn't want to, he can wipe it out. But he's not a kind of puppet master. He's a God who is compassionate. He's a God who is loving. And that's why he's giving us an opportunity to make choices. And some of us still make just those dumb choices. But even at that, he's still hoping that we'll come to realize that the choices we make were dumb. And then we'll fix them and come back to him. And he's right there waiting for us. All. That's how much of a God God is. And reason why you need to worship him. You need to praise him. You need to serve him. You need to just get stuck to him. On the church by the kiki gun. Is that not what they say? I hope I said it correctly, Minister Mark. Um, we're on verse, verse 9. Did I have it right? 1 verse 9, right? Thou hast set a bound that they may not pass over, that they turn not again to cover the earth. He sendeth the spring into the valleys, which run amongst the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild asses quench their tests. This is God taking care of animals. Who, and you think it's you who will not take care of. Hey, <laughs> God. And even at that, the psalmist, whoever wrote the psalm, could see how important it is to still appreciate God even for those things. Because it looks like, oh, it's a normal thing. It's supposed to happen. The animals are supposed to live their life. They're supposed to. No, it's not just like that. He's so appreciating God and seeing all these tiny little details of things that we have become so used to. It feels like it's supposed to be a normal thing. Anyways, are the cattle not supposed to have food to eat? Are they not supposed to have water to drink? Says who? You become so used to the fact that you wake up every single day, you breathe, you're healthy, you have uh, maybe three square meals a day, aside the snacks that you get in between and all those kinds of things. Really? Don't you think you need to worship God and praise God for all those things? You need to. It says, um, By them shall the fowls of the heaven have their habitation, which sing among the branches oh yeah oh yeah god creates like true creation of trees and all those things he's creating a home a place of stay for some of the birds and all that and these birds sing and praise his name you need you need to hear those beautiful sounds that some of these animals make especially the birds sometimes it's just so melodious like when you think about it these are animals praising God. If they can praise God, one more of you. It says, He watered the hills from his chambers, and the earth is satisfied with the fruit of thy works. Oh my God. He caused the grass to grow for the cattle and help for the service of man, that he may bring forth fruit out of the earth. Can you hear that? That's already somebody who understands that God is a creator god is a provider god is a keeper you know like just keep looking at the things name them whichever one it is just name them god is that and more who has god been to you or who is god to you but when you look at this such scriptures don't you see how powerful god is don't you see how awesome god is don't you see the length the length to which god can go just for you don't you see it i pray you do it says um and wine that make it glad the heart of man and all to make his face to shine and bread we strengthen it man's heart the tree of the lord are full of sap the cedars of lebanon which he had planted where the birds make their nests as for the stork the fir trees are her house the high hills are a refuge for the wild goats and the rocks for the coney. Even the wild goats have a place 
then you think, what do you think you've done so bad that God cannot forgive you? We've said here time without number. God is not that kind of taskmaster. He's just waiting that you realize yourself and come to, to him with a broken heart and a contrite spirit. That he will not despise. It's his word. And we're holding him on his word. He says a broken heart and a contrite spirit. He dares not despise. He will not despise it. So that's all what God is waiting and hoping to get from you. A broken heart and a contrite spirit. Then when you're saved, he needs you to follow the precepts of the word of God. Which, in essence, is his love letter to you, his lover. You get? It says, um, The high hills are a refuge for wild goats, and the rocks for the coney. He appointed the moon for seasons. The sun knoweth he's going down. Thou makest darkness, and it is night, wherein all the beasts of the forest do creep forth. The young lions roar after their prey and seek their meat from God. <laughs> they made a wild joke sometime that some guy was in the forest and he was face to face with a lion and he was praying, Lord, save me from this lion. And the lion was praying, Lord, I need meat. <laughs> Who is God going to answer? <laughs> That's so funny. God can actually save them both and still give the lion meat. God provides for all the animals, for everything that is on earth. God provides for all. You think if the rain falls on the on the wicked and the good plants and the plants grow, as long as you've planted, as long as you have seed, you've planted, and you've planted on fertile soil and rain falls on it and then sun shines on it and whatever um, temperature or atmosphere that thing needs for growth, the thing is there. What is an unbeliever? It's a believer who planted it. It grows as well. You think that it's you now that God will not want to do something for you or God will not do something spectacular for you if he has said he would? It's not even possible now. It's not possible. <clears throat> says, um, so the young lions roar after their prey and seek their meat from God. So, everybody gets whatever they get from God, even animals. Even animals. But if God can so do this kind of great and awesome things for animals, and do them for the grass of the fields, and do them for other things, you think it's you who was created in his image and likeness that he will ignore, or he will abandon? Animals don't have a mind of their own. You do have a mind of your own. That's the difference between you and animals. And that's why you would have to play a part in the whole thingy. The animals might not have any part to play, but you, for your progress, for your next level and all, you have a part to play. And the first one is, Lion said his own Yeah, so, it was a joke that I saw somewhere. And the lion was praying. So I've seen here that the lion was asking God for his meat now. So when the lion also prayed, Lord, I need my, my delicious dinner or lunch or whatever. The man is also praying, Lord, save me from this animal. Now who go go answer now? <laughs> Anyways. It says, it says, the sun arises. They gather themselves together and lay them down in their dens. Man goeth forth unto his work and to his labor unto the evening. That's God giving you health. That's God giving you strength. Some people went out today and they didn't come back. Your going out and coming in is guaranteed because God says so. My going out and coming in is blessed. So I'm holding on to that word of God that is in that love letter for me. That my going out and coming in is blessed. So it's in that that I boast. It's in that that I can confidently say, I'll go out of my house today and I'll come back strong and kicking that's what the scripture is saying here man goeth forth unto his work and to his labor unto the evening you go safely and you come back safely some people went they didn't come back safely some people could not even wake up to go to begin with some people did not even see the day talk less of seeing it until they had the ability to wake up and go to work and come back 
until they had the ability to be able to do the work which was assigned to them. You need to worship God, people. There are just so many reasons to worship God. We can't say we don't have reasons to worship God. We can't say we don't have things to worship God about. We don't have things to worship God for. These are some of the things. Here's how detailedly he was going through these things. Things that some of us who are now taking for granted. We have become too entitled. And we think it's our right. Right, okay? Yes, we have a part to play in our walk with God. Oh, yes. We have a part to play. A lot of people have become so lazy. And they're singing all this grace, grace, grace gospel everywhere. Hmm. I remember some time ago, a man of God said that the Bible can take you to hell or heaven. I almost freaked out. Like I was almost getting so irritated. But when I sat and thought about it, it's true. You can pick and choose anything that you want to pick and choose in the Bible. And just twist it and bend it here and add it there and reduce it here to fit your whims and caprices. And in the end, you start hearing things like, depart from me, I know you not. We casted out demons in your name. We prayed in your name and he's like, Depart from me, I know thee nada. Child of God, you don't want to hear that kind of thing. You want to get to heaven and hear, Thou good and faithful servant, sit on my right hand. Thou good and faithful servant, sit on my other hand. That's what you want to hear. So you have to make things right today. Say so, O oh Lord, how manifold are thy works in wisdom. In wisdom has thou made them all. The earth is full of thy riches. Of course, if you want to turn around and just look at the earth and look at creation, you have a whole lot to praise God for. So is this great and wide sea, wherein are things creeping innumerable, both small and great. There go the ships. There is that Leviathan whom thou hast made to play therein. Mm right these wait all upon thee that thou mayest give them their meat in due season some of these are very patient and they get you small things so you don't raise that grumble you don't raise that momo you don't raise that bitter you're just so so bitter you're so angry you're so like it's a dispute with patiently patience is the fruit of the spirit it is needed we all need it. Some people might have to be patient for hours. Some people might be, may have to be patient for days, weeks, months, years. Patience is a fruit of the Spirit. And it says, That thou givest them, they gather thou openest. That thou givest them, they gather. That thou openest thine hand, they are filled with good. Of course, when God releases what is in his hand, it's good, 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 good. And he also opens the hearts of those who desire to know him more, to hear about him more, to, to experience him more. He's ready. He's ready to do that for you too. And verse 30 says, Thou settest forth thy spirit. They are created, and thou renewest the face of the earth. Of course, God renews the face of the earth every single time. With the things he does in our lives, the things he does in the lives of our family members, our friends, relatives, our loved ones, you know, like it is just God. It is truly God. He's the one who can make and uh, uh, he's the one who can do and undo. He's the one who created. He can repair. He can restore. He can recreate. And the funny thing is, God has given us the creative power as well, the creative ability, but sometimes we're just so scared to use it. We're just so mumuish to use this power. May the good Lord open our eyes to see what we possess, who we are, the power we carry, so that we're going to do things right. And it says, The glory of the Lord shall endure forever the lord shall rejoice in his works if you don't want to rejoice in the lord's work he will rejoice in his work by himself is it not him who created the earth in six days and then got up and said it is good it is him who 
You don't praise him, he will praise himself. You don't praise him, he will raise stones to praise him. God has the ability to do all of these things. May that not be you in the mighty name of Jesus. May you not be the one who allow inanimate things or who is going to allow animals and stuff to praise your God for you. God forbid. Woman of God says, me too, I hold on to that scripture and speak it over the boys every morning. Loudest amen. Oh yeah. It is very, very important. <clears throat> it says, um, He looked on the earth and it trembled. He touched the hills and they smoke. Huh. God is a consuming fire. At some point, he's that lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. At some point, he's the lion of the tribe of Judah who roars. At some point, he's a flaming fire. He touched the hills and the smoke. God not, God not be a mate, you know, they had to play. Psalm says 3 says, I'll sing unto the long as long as I live. I'll sing praises to my God. While I have my being. See. I will not be silent. I will always worship you. As long as I am breathing. I will. Always worship you. I will not be silent. I'm making this. I will always worship my God. As long as I am breathing, Lord, as long as I am breathing i will always worship you see as long as i have breath in me as long as i'm alive i cannot dare be silent i will always praise god i will sing to him a joyful song I will sing even when I feel like it. I will sing even when I don't feel like it. Why? Because he deserves the praise and worship. He deserves it all. And it says, <clears throat> My meditation of him shall be sweet. I'll be glad in the Lord. Ah. So let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight. Oh Lord, so let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in God's eye. Oh Lord, see, there's all kinds of songs, all kinds of beautiful songs that depict praise and worship. There's some beautiful psalms. That you can just read out loud and it brings transformation and restoration. As long as I have breath, I'm going to sing. As long as I have breath, I'm going to meditate on the word. Because the meditating on the word, it brings gladness. It brings joy. It brings peace. Because you know what God has said concerning you in the word. So when you see, there's just no way you can but not be peaceful. There's just no way you can but not be happy. There's just no freaking way. And verse 34 says, <clears throat> okay, that was 33. That was 34. So the next one is, let the sinners be consumed out of the earth. And let the wicked be no more. Bless thou the Lord, O oh my soul. Praise ye the Lord. Mm. This is very tempting, but like I said, I've told you guys several times that I ain't killing none of my enemies. They're going to sit and watch what I'll become. 
so that in the end, they are going to repent. As much as that is, so too you can pray them away. You can pray that it should be consumed and they'll be consumed. Um, this guy, Elisha, Elijah, um, no, Elisha, when he had gotten the double portion, these children were mocking him and he prayed and used his powers. So the fun is that it's very, very risky because when you have that much power, you have to be careful. You have to be able to balance it out so that you don't go overboard because life and death are in the power of the tongue. The Bible didn't say life and death are in the power of the tongue of a believer. And that's why people of the world also make decrees and declarations and they come to pass. <clears throat> Welcome to the Imam Boma Forer. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. God bless you. It's been a long, long time. Hope you're good. So, you can as much as pray for them to be consumed. This is me who is saying I'm not consuming any of my enemies because I want God to prepare a table before me in their presence. I want them to so see God spoil me and pamper me so much so that they'll be like, who is this God you're serving? And then, those awesome things I got to do in my life can make me preach to them. Eventually. So yes, this is how much God loves us and he wants us to praise him. He wants us to know who we are in him. And when we walk in the knowledge and the understanding of who we are in Christ, then we're going to get it right. We're going to get it awesomely right. <clears throat> so people, today we're going to pray that God is going to help each and every one of us to be able to see those things that look normal to us, to use to worship Him. And above all, know that our lifestyle is worship to Him. So it's not just that time. You don't just worship God only at that time where you go and look for music and then you're singing and then you're praising and then you're lifting holy hands or when you're by your prayer altar or when you're in church. That's not the only time you're worshiping God. You're worshiping God even with your lifestyle, the way you do things, the way you say things, how you relate with people, your character, your attitude is worship unto the Lord. When we carry this kind of understanding, We'll be careful how we live our lives. We'll be careful the things we say to people. We'll be careful how we treat people. We'll be cautious. And we'll do it right. So let's pray. Father, we come before your children of grace, O oh God. We bring before you all your children all over the world, O oh God. Father, that you're going to teach us to know who we are in Christ, the power you possess, O oh God. So that we can be able to do the things of the kingdom and do them with every pride, glitz, and glamour, with every confidence that there be, because you've given us a spirit of boldness, not of fear. You've given us a spirit of sound mind. So, Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you're going to help each and every one of us, O oh God, to get connected, to get on, O oh God. Father, that we're going to love you with all our hearts. We're going to serve you with all of our hearts. We're going to do that which you're driving us at, O oh God. We're not going to give up. We're not going to back out. We're going to be there till the end. Thank you, Lord God, that you're going to help us, O God, to hold on and hold out. And after it all, all glory be given unto your holy name. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen, amen, and amen. So, guys, this is where we're wrapping up with the chapter I did for today. I'm glad that each and every one of you made it here. Oh my God, Lord, help us, help us, help us, and help us. So, I always get to say I love you so very much, but God loves you way, way more. Get to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get all our updates each time we upload a new video or we get to go live like this. We have our audio Bible on TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube. We're looking forward to other social media platforms. Soon, Instagram. That's the one I just can't wait. We're soon getting on Instagram with our audio Bible, so you definitely really have no excuse as to why you're not listening to the Word of God 
as to why you're not growing your faith. Because listening to the word of God is actually growing your faith. That's the whole idea. You see? You get that? Okay. So let's sign out and thank God and appreciate him for such an awesome edition of the chapter a day. Of course, don't forget to share, share, share. Sharing is caring. You might say, I cannot sit here and go live and read a chapter of the Bible every single day and talk about it. Well, indirectly, by sharing this, that's you doing that same thing. I don't have people in your audience. So the only way that you can be able to preach to people in your audience is by sharing this video. And like I always say, there might be someone in your audience that has a message for me or maybe for some other person. But they will not be able to give that message out if this one is not shared to them. So don't feel restrained. Don't feel held back. Go ahead and speak. Go ahead and bless. Go ahead and write whatever God is telling you to write. You can also get to me inbox as well. And you send a prayer request and we're going to pray for it and pray for you and pray for every other person using you as point of contact. If you don't want your name mentioned, of course, your name will not be mentioned. Just the issue we're praying for. If you want your name mentioned, you can actually put it in the comment section as well. And we're definitely going to pray for it. Of course, there's never so much of prayer. There's never anything like too much prayers. So we can pray as much as we can, as much as we desire and give God the glory through it all. Father, we thank you for today, O oh Lord. We thank you for all that you've done, you're doing, and you're still to do in our lives. Lord, we thank you for an awesome session of a chapter a day today. We're forever grateful. We don't take it for granted. We thank you for all the things that you've already done, you're doing, and you're still to do. Because we know that some people are right here, depending and relying on you totally and completely. And we know that their expectations will not be cut short. Thank you, Heavenly Father. For in Jesus' name we pray. And all the saints shall say ginormous, amen, amen, and amen. Until tomorrow, it's going to be Psalm 105. Get ready, read ahead of time, and come back and let's have a swell time together. It has been your favorite girl, Princess Cleason, Queen of Hearts and Laughter. <laughs> On a chapter a day, aka a card, your favorite audio Bible creation program and Bible study program. Of course, knowing who you are is of the essence so that you can walk in that authority, you can walk in that power, you can walk in that might, and God will wrought miracles through you. Until tomorrow, ciao, ciao, bisou, bisou, love you.